Stanford University. The idea is that we want to image objects where we don't have direct line of sight. That is, we want to capture an image of an object where there's an occluder, something blocking the direct view of that object. The technique works very similar to LiDAR systems in autonomous driving. You have a laser that shoots a very short pulse of light into the scene. Some of the light is directly reflected. What we're looking for are indirect reflections, where you shoot a short laser pulse into the scene, the light scatters outside the line of sight of the camera. We're interested in, in this multiply scattered light. So as light uh, reflects off the wall, interacts with this unknown object, and then comes back to our sensor, we are actually picking up information about the geometry of this object that we can't directly observe. These are at most a few photons that we're recording and they don't really resemble the shape of the scene that we're trying to recover, this hidden scene. So we need to build computational reconstruction methods to try to resolve these shapes that we're looking for. We have found a way to actually do this in a very memory efficient and computationally efficient way that uh, drastically lowers the amount of resources that's required to actually perform this type of computation. So we go from basically hours to seconds. The applications of non-line of sight imaging in general are of course in autonomous driving. If your car could look around the corner, it could make decisions probably more reliably and further ahead of time. A benefit of our algorithm as well is that it's compatible with existing scanning LiDAR systems. So you can conceivably take our algorithm, apply it to these existing systems, and be able to perform this non-line of sight imaging. We're also thinking about, for example, rescue scenarios. You can think about microscopy, where you can look at round structures that are very small, or aerial vehicles that could look through foliage or into buildings. So there's a lot of different applications where you want to be able to look outside the line of sight. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.